In today's video, we're going to be taking over West Ham for 10 seasons. Not going to lie, their team is actually good. Declan Rice and Sushek in that midfield. Jared Bowen, of course, is a cult hero on this channel. Overall, what a well-balanced team. No wonder they're sixth in the Prem. But our job over these 10 seasons is to make West Ham the best team in England. So let's get to it. We're going to be tracking the top goal scorer and top sister. Also, I want you guys to drop a prediction. Who do you think is going to be winning these awards? Let me know in the comment section. And we'll keep track of all the major trophies we win over the course of these 10 seasons. All right, boys, time to begin with season one. I'm looking at this team. It's so well balanced, like... Antonio up top is decent, because his age is a bit of an issue. Pablo Fornals' cam is good, he's only 25. Jared Bourne, I want to make him OP as hell over these 10 seasons, but let's see. Sushek and Declan Rice is amazing. Vlasic is pretty good as well, he's only 23. At the back, we've got a few old players like Ogbonna, but Zuma is good. We've got Kufal. This team is well balanced. I can already kind of see where I want to make the signings. It's time to get to it. Good thing is, we'll be working with about 34 million and a good wage budget so i reckon can make some good signings we'll only be using the one academy player in this challenge maybe maybe jake newton will be good at some point but for now our homegrown player alexander bird we're gonna promote him and loan him out and sure he's gonna be useful over these 10 seasons antonio is 31 we need a new striker and let's go english for that striker position tammy abraham 23 years old 79 rated i think it'll be incredibly smart to sign him do we have the money though we'll have to squeeze every bit of our budget to make this happen but i think it should be possible let's try 30 million as our first offer maybe we can put in someone like lanzini in a swap deal because i don't really need lanzini let's try this we put 22 million plus lanzini and submit offer and see what they say they're willing to take lanzini that's gonna save us a bit of cash absolutely brilliant let's counter this with 26 million i want to get this deal done for as cheap as possible remember the rule still stands. Only two transfers per season, guys. So this will be one of them. Um, let's let's go with 27 milli. 28. Let's go 28. 28 million plus Lanzini. 15% sell-on clause. 28.7 is where we're reaching. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I think it's worth it. I think it's very smart that we've signed another striker, guys, because we're in the Europa League with West Ham as well. We need a bit of squad depth. Antonio and Tammy Abraham, the rotations will be key. So there you go. We've signed Tammy Abraham for 28.7 plus Lanzini. And you look at his stats. I think he's he's going to be decent for us. Chuck, a development plan to improve that finishing. And I reckon we're sorted. I think this is what I'd do. I'd probably put Yarmolenko out off the bench even. Or I don't think we've got anyone else that we can put there so for now i guess we put bird or maybe mark noble Let, let's put mark noble in there i guess instead of yarmolenko but that's looking good man i'm liking this team for the first season not too bad we'll see if we have more money to sign anyone else we still have about 8 million left and a good amount of wage budget if we adjust that yo we're looking at about 20 25 million let's see i think there's one more transfer incoming we got some money from season ticket sales and we're up to 31 million now we can make that one more signing i think it's got to be a center back i don't trust ogbonna but then again we've got diop in there who's only 24 maybe we don't improve that position left back is where i'm not too convinced with creswell or masuaku okay let's invest in a left back would this be even possible guys i kind of want to sign renan lodi but i just feel like ah, it'll be too expensive his release clause is so high in itself guys i've managed to sign sergi regular for like 33 million i don't know how i pulled this off but we've basically now got no money but that's our two signings for the season complete regular i think is a solid one plus dami abraham look at that no money left pretty sure he comes as like a left wing back we need to change that we got to make him a left back which will take about a couple of weeks also i think i'm gonna then try and sell aaron cresswell let's put him on the transfer list and get rid of him soon Out. but yeah now that i look at this team we need so many improvements man we'll soon need a new keeper a new center back probably a new cam at some point maybe a new winger there's a lot to do but for the first season i think we've done a good job Let's sim through the season and see what this West Ham side achieves. Okay, this is a bit insane. How on earth have we finished top four? Were those two signings good enough? Yo, this is mad. 72 points. City, the clear uh, Premier League winners, but we've done incredibly well, beating both Liverpool and Chelsea for top four. In season two itself, we're going to be the Champions League. I told you this West Ham team was good. There's a reason why they're sixth in real life. Couple signings here and then. Look at them. We've managed to get them to the top four. That's 
a bit mad. Now, I guess the focus was entirely on the Premier League, hence, well, nothing in the cups. In the Europa League, we topped our group, but in the round of 16, we got knocked out. But it's fine. We don't even have to be in the Europa League anymore. It's all about the Champions League for next season. Bit of growth on Tammy Abraham, a bit of growth on Pablo Fornals. Great to see Vlasic going up by three. Regular has grown well. Diop up to an 80 overall as well. Look at that growth everywhere. It's good to see. Come on now. We will need a new keeper next season. Maybe we just sign Ariola, who's out on loan, but love it. Antonio top scorer. How on earth did he play way more than Tammy Abraham? Tammy Abraham just played like 15 games. Oh, that's gonna be a massive hit on his potential. That's such a bummer. Vlasic with 23 goals. Janet Bowen with 18. Vlasic has been unreal. He's someone I've never heard about before this. It's gonna be somewhat of a hidden gem. 83 overall. This first season has been nutty. Antonio top scorer for now with 24 and Vlasic top assister with 16. Before we get into the next season, if you're enjoying the content of the channel, you know what to do. Drop a like, subscribe and let's go. Oh, I do love that budget. 111 million to work with. That's what you get when you're in the Champions League. Unfortunately, a big chunk of that money has to go for a goalkeeper signing. We need to get that done. It is honestly a must. Apart from that, I'm not sure where else can we invest. Oh, we need backup options. Maybe a backup CDM because Rice and Sushek, that's, that's the only two CDMs we have. So, well, we'll take a look at that. For a goalkeeper, I'm thinking Ariola would have been nice, but he's 29. Is it, is it even, oh, he's, his contract's expiring. We can get such a good deal on him. Oh, and then spend heavy elsewhere. Yeah, that's, that, that just makes so much sense. Oh, maybe we should just invest big in a young keeper for long. Aaron Ramsdale, what about him? 24, 83 rated. This is a no-brainer, I think. We've got the money, let's do it now. We're gonna, we're gonna get Aaron Ramsdale over Ariola. I feel like that's way more smart. Let's do this, boys. I think it'll be a bit expensive. 40 million around th that mark, I think. 43.1 works for me. He's 83. He's only going to get better. Now, that's what I call a signing. There you go. Aaron Ramsdale has been signed. We've got our first choice keeper. You know what? He's our first choice keeper. We've got to give him that number one kit as well. Let's quickly do that. There you go. The two signings rule is really squeezing us dry, man. Because look at that. We're struggling for backup options. And uh, we, we can't even, like, sign maybe a backup left winger. We could do that. But right now, I feel like we absolutely need a backup CDM. Because, yeah, I just feel like that is absolutely vital right now. So, you know what? We're going to spend most of our cash on that now. Yes, Bissouma is, I think, a good shout. Having him, Sushek, and Rice rotate in those CDM positions. I don't think there's anything better than that. So, let's sign him up. Plus, as I said, contract expiring. You know, we love that. I reckon we can get him for, like, 30 odd million. There you go. That's done. Graham Potter accepts it. And with that, that's our two signings done. It's a real shame that this rule kind of squeezes us. We have about 30 million left to spend, but we can't use it. We can only make two signings every season. So it's going to be a bit of a grind to get that squad depth in order. For now, this is, I think, what we're looking at for our squad. There's decent enough depth at the back, but going forwards, I think we're lacking. So that's something we can only fix next season. We'll be running this team until the end of the season. Our first time out in the Champions League as well. I'm eager to see what we can achieve. Let's go, guys. In the Premier League, we secure top four again. This time over Manchester United. And that means next season, we're going to be back in the Champions League again. Two seasons and we've already established ourselves as a top four club and it's only gonna get better and look at that guys we also won our very first trophy at the takeover it's the fa cup come on now i'm pretty sure we didn't win the carabao cup there you go that goes to norwich what happened in the champions league we topped our group which is great in the champions league over sevilla round of 16 you're kidding me how do we get knocked out by wolfsburg well it was only our first time in this competition we'll be back next season once again look at vlasic the player growth on him was nuts i fight feel like like Tammy Abraham is finally finding a rhythm here. Declan Rice, 89 rated. Ramsdale grew well. Good to see. Now that's more like it. Tammy Abraham stepped up big time this season. 26 goals from him. That's what we want to see. Janet Bowen with a steady 17 goal season. Vlasic with 13. Sushek with 7. Antonio only adding 6 to his tally. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Janet Bowen, top assister. Love to see it. Vlasic is now our top scorer and top assister, but Jared Bowen is actually on 24 assists, so he's closing in. And we've also secured our first trophy in FA Cup within the first couple of seasons. Not bad. 
And we've got even more money to spend this season. But again, only two signings that we can make. And that's once again squeezing us for squad depth. Bird is back. He's going to be a part of the squad. I'm going to probably convert him to like a right midfield and have him be back up for Bowen for the first couple of seasons. I think that's smart. This season, we need a center back. That's for sure. Maybe a left midfielder. And most importantly, we need squad depth. We're really lacking in that department. Go big or go home. And I'm going big for this one. I want to sign Joe Gomez, who's playing at Leicester City if we can get him for a good price actually even price this don't matter because of the amount of cash we've got 65 million though <laughs> Yeah, it does matter a little bit. I'm not paying 65 million for Joe Gomez. I might have to do that, folks, because uh, Brendan Rodgers is not agreeing anything less. 60 million then? There you go, that works. Not gonna lie, Joe Gomez and Kurt Zuma together. That's decent. Diop is back up. I think we've got a good backline for a few seasons with that. Oh, by the way, we might not need to sign a left midfielder because we've got Jake Newton from the academy, and he's looking decent. 87 to 93 potential. We might use our second academy player at this rate. I'm going to promote him to the senior team. I don't think we need to even loan him out. We'll just keep him in the team to be back up for Vlasic. And I think we're good to go that way. Yeah, that's that's decent. Now that we've sorted the winger position for a little bit, I think we can maybe spend a bit of time on that right back position replacing Kufal. Because he's 30. I think it'd be smart doing that right now. I don't know why I feel like one Bisaka would be a good fit at, of course, uh, West Ham. I just don't know. I've got a feeling. He's that kind of a player. He's playing at Napoli. But I reckon we can easily get him in. Let's maybe just put Kufal in the swap deal as well. Because we've got Ben Johnson who I want to keep as backup. Uh, maybe like 12, 13 million plus Kufal should get this done. They want 37 plus Kufal. Napoli, they aren't playing around, man. Let's counter with 27 and that works. We're looking good, boys. We're looking good with the signing of 1B Saka. Improving our defense even more. Could this be the season we challenge for the Premier League title? Because now that I look at my bench, it's looking decent, man. We've got options everywhere. But overall, squad depth is still a bit low, but that's fine. I've got big expectations from this season. Let's see how it goes. Oh, let's see what we do in the Community Shield final. Well, nope. we lost that on pens. Yikes. Don't like the fact that we just keep finishing third. It was good for the first couple of seasons, but we need a bit of progress, man. Ah, still securing Champions League, but soon we need to start pushing for the Premier League title. Did we win the Community Shield? No, I remember we lost that on pens. What about the mighty FA Cup? We lost the final. Yikes. Looks like no trophies for us this season. We topped our group once again in the Champions League as Dortmund get kicked out. We knocked out Club Bruges, getting into the quarterfinals. We knocked out Roma semi-finals and we got knocked out by Liverpool. We got close this season. We got close. Player growth has been nice. Jared Bowen up to an 85. Vlasic keeps growing. Declan Rice 90. Joe Gomez. I think our first team is great now. The first season was bad for Tammy but he's picked himself up. 30 goals this season and Look at Jared Bowen. Absolute legend, 27. Vlasic, 24. Pablo Fornal stop assist. Interesting. Vlasic top scorer, but I kid you not. Dami Abraham is on like 59 goals. Jared Bowen on 58. Vlasic better start scoring more. Jared Bowen, though, has now overtaken him for the top assist charts. Dami Abraham wants to leave. He submitted a transfer request. Why? Come on now. Well, we're going to have to let him go. I don't think getting a replacement is going to be that much of a problem because of the money we've got. But uh, it's frustrating. Well, do it. You know what? I'm just going to sign Harry Kane. You might be thinking he's 30. You're only going to get two, three seasons out of him. That's fine. We'll bring in someone else later on. But I want to see what Harry Kane can do at West Ham. Plus, having a 90 rated player at this point could be what we need to win the Champions League or even the Premier League. So let's try and sign Harry Kane. He's moving from one London club to another and we're going to have to pay big bucks to convince him to join us. But I think it'll be fun using Harry Kane for a few seasons at West Ham. Can we convince Spurs to agree for 130 million? Let's see. Yes, we can. I think that's one of the biggest signings we've done in these takeover videos. Harry Kane to West Ham. I think this is just what we need. Tammy Abraham has been sold for 60 million to Villarreal. That is such an L, I feel. But fair enough. I think we've made a bit of profit on him. And we've signed Kane. And our second signing of this season, Ryan Sisegno. I needed a bit of depth for that left back position. So that's sorted. Now, I really think we've got a squad, folks. I mean, this team needs to be winning the Premier League at the very minimum. Let's see 
what we do. Harry Kane is here. Sesegna on the bench. We're looking good. I don't know what we need to do to win the Premier League, man. We're seven points short of Liverpool. Again, top four. We've done that consistently for four seasons. But I can't seem to break the barrier. Ah, huh, frustrating. We'll have to find a solution. In the Champions League, once again, we start off well. 15 points top of the group. We then knock out Leipzig. But then Bayern Munich get the better of us. I think it's all about squad depth. Our first team is great. But because of the two signings to do, we're really struggling to improve our squad depth. Next season, that is something we absolutely need to do. And we'll get to work for sure. Stats-wise, Harry Kane is doing the job we asked him to do. 25 goals but Jared Bowen is soon going to be top scorer for the club. Lasic with a good season, but Jared Bowen probably the most impressive of the lot. Jared Bowen is now both our top scorer and top assister. That's a bit mental, but of course the battle is still there between him and Vlasic. Only the FA Cup so far over these four seasons. That needs to change, man. Next season, we need big improvements. One signing we absolutely need for season five is a backup striker because Kane will soon start degrading. We need to have a good striker ready to go in case that starts happening. Apart from that, I'm thinking we sign a backup centre-back and I think we're good for squad depth. Finally, after five seasons, we're going to be able to, you know, build a full squad with a lot of depth. Perfect. We've just made the signing of Joe Gelhart for a backup striker. He's, he's 23, guys, and he's already 80 rated. He just scored for, I think, Leeds United and scored the winner for them. So I know he's decent. We can chuck a development plan on him and I think we're genuinely looking good. We need a bit of squad depth in that striker position. Someone to be back up for Kane and Joe Gelhart is the man. The second signing is made. It's Jared Brantway and he was playing at Real Madrid, but I think he usually is at Everton. So a couple of English signings that we've made for squad depth purposes. Now look at our squad with those two signings. We're actually like building a good team now. Like there is squad depth with us, finally. We've got a good squad of about 21 players and I think we're ready to tackle everything. This has got to be the season. We win big trophies. We've got the players. Let's make it happen. Let's him until the end. Is this the season we win our first ever Premier League title? Let's see. West Ham. What's going to happen here? We're in the top six. We are in the top four, which we've been accustomed to over these five seasons, but have we surpassed our limits? We're in the top three. We're in the top two for the first time. Have we won the Premier League? Yes, we have. Five seasons of building a great team and we've finally done it. We've just won the Premier League with West Ham, our first of hopefully many. No FA Cup. That goes to Chelsea, but we do end up winning our first Carabao Cup. Two trophies this season. Oh, this time we finished second in our Champions League group. Wow. We smashed Marseille. We destroyed Leverkusen 8 0 on aggregate. And then Real Madrid got the better of us. Yikes. But. You know what? A ton of progress this season. Would you look at our team? So many 90 rated players. I can't believe we've managed to take Pablo Fornals to a 90 overall. This team is looking so insane. I want to see the stats as well. We're looking at a Jared Bowen monster class. 31 goals this season. He is 91 rated. How did we pull this off? 11 assists from him as well. Kane with another great season. But you love to see it. I'm glad we won a major trophy finally. Now we're talking, boys, a Prem, an FA Cup, and a Carabao Cup in our cabinet. Five seasons, but now we've got the team to start winning stuff consistently, so let's see how we progress. King Jared Bowen, guys. He stays at the top for the top scorer and top assisted charts. Insane. You know what, boys? For season six, I kind of just want to keep the squad as is because there's no reason to make any improvements. Soon, we'll need to replace players like Kurt Zuma and all. But for now, we can use them. They're, they're more than good enough. For season six, going to keep the squad the same, sim through, and let's give them a chance to win that Champions League. We've just won the Prem, so we can afford to do this. And that's back-to-back -back Premier League titles, and we didn't even make a single signing this season. That's mental. 86 points, top of the league. What about some of the other comp? Competitions. We won the FA Cup against Brighton. You'll love to see it. We lost the Carabao Cup. That's fine. Champions League. We topped our group this time. We managed to get through Borussia Dortmund. We smashed Leverkusen 7-1. But Bayern were a bit too much. We're still on the hunt for that Champions League trophy. Still a couple of good trophies in this season. And I think the squad is still looking absolutely amazing. Stats-wise, Vlasic top scorer. 34 goals. Wow. Jared Bowen again stepped up. Kane as well with a solid season. Look at that. 
Jared Bowen is still dominating the stats. 143 goals. Vlasic is close with both assists and goals. But Bowen so far has been the man. Two major trophies, two Premier League titles, two FA Cups and a Carabao Cup. We're, we're doing well, but we soon need that Champions League. Season 7, I'm just seeing the age of our players. That's going to help me decide whether we need to replace them or not. Right now, I just don't see a reason of replacing anyone. Like, we can go with Kane for another couple of seasons. Zuma as well. Like, why? They're all so high rated. We're not really going to be upgrading on them. So, guess it's another season of just keeping the squad as is. Everybody's there at the club. And I'm sure if we get a bit lucky, we can win the Champions League. So, for two consecutive seasons, we're not making any transfers. Is that risky? Maybe, but let's see. Yo, we won the Community Shield this time on penalties versus Liverpool. Nice to see. Guys, guys, why is the menu this color? We're in the Europa League final? What happened? Stop it. Get some help. Unbelievable. We got put in here in the preliminary round. That means we finished third in our Champions League group. Was it that bad? Oh my God. In the group, we finished all on nine points. But oh my God. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's our chance to win a first European trophy. We'll take it, but I didn't expect to win the Europa League. I mean, we haven't even won it yet. It depends on this game, please. Let's just win the Europa League at least. There you go. Vlasic scoring a brace. Kane as well. We get that done, but I still can't believe we're in the Europa League. We won it, though. We smash out the Premier League again for the third season in a row, if I'm not wrong. So that's sorted. Still a bit of a shock that, of course, we were in the Europa League. Stats-wise, Harry Kane. I'm telling you, we don't need to change Harry Kane for a while. 46 goals in a season. Are you even serious? Unreal. Jared Bowen again stepped up. Vlasic as well. Incredible stats all round. Jared Bowen is still the man, top scorer and top assister, but Kane is coming for him. Three Premier Leagues now, one Europa League as well. Next season, man, we need to do better in the Champions League. Maybe it's time to make some signings. Still struggling to think where does this team even need changes, but I think I've got an idea. Maybe getting like a better right back, having one Bisaka on the bench, that should improve the overall squad. I still feel like we don't need to sell Zuma, he's 89 rated. We don't need to sell Kane, he's 32, but he banged 46 goals last season, similar with Fornals. So I think we'll do that. And with 256 million, I think you guys know who I'm going for. Let's just sign the best right back in the world, in my opinion, Trent Alexander-Arnold, 9 rated oh is he gonna be expensive but i reckon it'll be worth it having him in that first team that is a sizable upgrade that i reckon should help us win the champions league 130 million you got that let's get this deal done there you have it boys trent alexander arnold the signing is complete we've signed him for 132 million let's put him straight into our team boys i think i'm gonna put one bisaka in here ryan Sosegno doesn't even make the starting 11 anymore the bench anymore so that's how it's gonna look like a solid bench an incredible first team just the one signing for now and let's see what we can do in season eight i'm expecting the champions league now and that is another premier league title four in a row with West Ham. Let's go. Chelsea made it tough, but we won it yet again. What about the UEFA Super Cup? Pretty sure we were in this competition. We managed to beat Barcelona for that. Let's go. What do we do in the Champions League though? Finally, this time we actually topped our group. No Europa League anymore. Let's go. We managed to knock out Hertha Berlin. We got through Real Sostad. We got through Monaco. We had a very easy draw and now in the final it's Atletico Madrid. This is our chance. Let's do this, boys. I won that Champions League. Our team is more than good enough to do this come on 3-1 in the final we've just won the champions league bowen rice and kane scoring for us let's go honestly boys i think the team we've got is as complete as it gets players have retained their overall for so long i just think it's about winning the champions league a couple more times in the last two seasons hopefully we can keep doing it look at that why sell kane when he's producing numbers like this 41 goals bowen kind of slowed down a bit this season but that's fine the rest of the team picked up now we're talking boys look at that trophy cabinet the champions league a super cup four premier leagues two more seasons and we want more and more We've got a new top scorer and it's Vlasic with 189 goals. Bowen still keeps his top assisted charts, but I think it's going to be a big battle between Vlasic, Bowen and Kane for top scorer. Let's see in these last two seasons who comes out on top. 
Well, looks like we have a bit of a goalkeeper problem. We need a backup keeper for Ramsdale, because that's something we don't have. And apart from that, is there anything else that we want to do? I think somebody has left the club. Can't figure out who that is. No, Newton's here. Newton's here. It's just the keeper I think we need right now. Let, let, let's do that. Oh, Ryan Sissegno is gone. Where did he dip? Yo, we probably need a left back too then. Ryan Sissegno has snaked us, man. Honestly, like, where on earth is he? Let's let's have a quick check. Where is Ryan Sissegno? He's at Chelsea. Oh my god, he signed a pre-contract with them in Dib. Who can we sign for left back? I'm thinking James Justin is a good option. Let's see. 29 years old. I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I, I'm just gonna get it get this done. We get our backup left back. We'll then sign a keeper. I reckon we're sorted, boys. 30 million should be enough to sign him, I think. There you go. I'm not even looking at, you know, the wages and everything. We'll just, just speed running through this offer. We'll offer him somewhere between one, 130 and 80,000. I reckon he'll accept. There you go. That's our left back problem sorted. James Justin, 80 rated. He's agreed to 80,000 per week. We've got our backup left back now. We just need like a decent goalkeeper that we can have. Don't know who we should sign though. We'll, we'll see. I wouldn't mind signing someone like Ariola if he's still playing football or has he retired because we, we are like eight seasons in. He's still playing. 34. I don't mind that, you know. We will sign Alfonso Ariola to be backup for Ramsdale. He's still 85 rated, so reckon he should give us a couple of decent seasons. So that's absolutely perfect. Cost us 8 million, which is fine. There you go. Ariola back at West Ham. And with that, our squad is looking even better more depth. We can put Ariola in here and I think this squad is as complete as it gets. Look at how insane this team is. Every player in the starting 11, bar Joe Gomez, is 90 plus overall. Let's get through the season and let's win the Champions League back to back. We're making it easy now, guys. Another Premier League title. That's number five all in a row. On rail. Let's go. We lost the Super Cup this season, which is a bit of an L. Champions League, though, we topped our group. Nice to see. What happened next? We, we knocked out Atletico. We knocked out Sostad. We knocked out Leipzig, and that's another Champions League final. Now, we beat Man City for the Premier League title. Surely we can beat them in the Champions League as well. There you go. 3-0 Kane with a brace. Could have scored a hat-trick as well, but we'll take this. Oh, it's a real shame. Finally, we're seeing Kane dropping his overall slowly Zuma as well but we're at the end of the challenge so I guess it's fine we're seeing stats reduced though Kane only scoring 22 goals Bowen coming up with a big season 25 the battle is still on for the top scorer charts but I think Bowen is gonna finish top assist up. been a good season Top scorers wise, Vlasic is still running clear with 210 goals. Born with the assist, but the battle is still on. And if you look at the trophies, two Champions Leagues, five Premier Leagues, one season to go. Okay, guys, we have a problem for this final season. A lot of players have left. And I, I, yeah, because their contract expired, I messed up in a big way. We don't have Sushek, he's gone. Zuma's gone. We basically need a CDM, probably a centre-back too. Let's get to work. This final season, we've got something to do. I'm pretty sure Tonali must be OP by now. He would be perfect in that CDM role. Let's bring him to West Ham for this final season. All right, Sandro Tonali, I think we can get him for like 90. It shouldn't be a problem. There you go you go. We get Sandro Tonali. That's our CDM sorted. What else do we actually need in this team? CDM, uh, maybe a centre-back now. Who's probably the best centre-back in the world that we can get? Let's let's sort him out. But first, just want to get this deal absolutely approved. Come on, come on. Where, where, where's, the, where's the acceptance? Where's the transfer deal? There you go. Sandro Tonali has been signed. GG's. We've got our man. We've got our CDM. Now we just need a centre-back and I reckon we're good for this season. Who can we sign for centre-back? boys. I'm thinking of the regular options like Marquinhos, but someone maybe better, someone different. Oh, it's it's tough. Maybe there's like some regions that we could go for. I don't know, Brazilian in the Prem? Thiago Silva's regions? Always OP? Or maybe Sergio Ramos's region? Let's see if Thiago Silva's regions there. Well, there's Ed Emily Tao. No region. I mean, Ed Emily Tao, 90 rated. I'm going for him. Alright, so I think we can get this done for like 100 milli. Let's do this. There you go. 123.8. Easy, boys. Easy. And we'll just get this done through the negotiations. And yeah, a couple of signings done. Militao and of course Tonali. Then we sim until the end of the season. And we see in this final season, what can we achieve? Can we win the Champions League again? Let's put Mr. Of course, 
Militao in there. Our squad depth is a bit low this season, but I reckon we can get through. Let's see what happens. No way. Our streak of winning the Premier League back to back for five seasons comes to an end. We finally finished third. No Premier League title in our final season. I messed up with the contract renewal stuff, so maybe that's why. Did we win a cup? FA Cup in the bag. What about the Carabao Cup? We won both the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. We'll certainly take that. Champions League, let's see. Or before that, Super Cup. We won that as well. So three trophies. Top of our Champions League group, got through Club Bruges, got through Roma, got through Atalanta, and here we are against PSG in the final. Had to sign Tonali, had to sign Militao. Can we beat Mbappe's PSG? No, we can't. Can't believe we're ending off the West Ham takeover like this. Kane dipped to an 88, but mostly everyone else has kept their overalls so high up. And Jared Bowen top scorer. I'm not sure if that's enough for him to overtake Vlasic, but Vlasic's on 28. Kane's on 27. Decent season. Bowen is going to finish top assist. But in all honesty, what a takeover, man. This squad that we've built is insane. The fact that we kept players like Vlasic, Fornals, Bowen, Rice, all in the team for all the 10 seasons was amazing. Not gonna lie, it's a good trophy cabinet to have with West Ham. Five Premier League titles, two Carabao Cups, three FA Cups, a couple of Champions Leagues, a Europa League, and two Super Cups. I think we've done a good job. And to wrap it all up, Vlasic top scorer just about edges Bowen, but Bowen does end up winning top assist. With that, wrapping up today's video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.